Hey guys and welcome to the channel. This is a quick tutorial about slowing down time and also speeding it up. As you can see here, we can control the global time which affects everything in the scene and we can also control time for each actor in the scene individually. So let's jump right in and see how it's done. In order to control time for the whole level, we only need one function. We need set global time dilation and we can add it to the level blueprint or in other blueprints in the level. Here I'm gonna add it to the third person character blueprint. So let's open it up and here add an input key. Let's put it on the right mouse button and then set global time dilation. Time dilation value of 1 means that the time will be normal. If we decrease the value and set it between 0 and 1, we will have slow motion for the scene and if we put it on a value bigger than 1, it will speed up time. Okay, let's go with 0.2 and also duplicate it and put it back on 1 and connect it to the released output. It means that when we hold right mouse button, we will be on slow motion and when we release it, we will go back to the normal global time. We can also set the input system differently. For example, you can add a flip-flop node and use the input this way. So if you press the button for the first time, it will go to the slow motion mode and when you press it again, it will go back to the normal mode. Okay, I'm gonna go with the first system which is holding the button and play the level to see what we have got so far. As you can see, when I hold the right mouse button, everything in the scene will be in slow motion. And of course, if we set the time dilation on a value more than 1, everything in the scene will speed up. You can also make this system for an actor individually. And all you need is just a set custom time dilation function for the actor. Here I have a simple actor blueprint and I have an animation playing inside it. I'm gonna go to the event graph and here add an input. Say E and then set custom time dilation. This allows each actor to run at a different time speed and the value here will be multiplied by the global time dilation. Let's go with 0.1 and also put it back on 1 when the key is released and play the level. Yeah, as you can see, when I hold E on the keyboard, this actor goes to the slow motion mode and when I release it, it comes back to the normal speed. If I hold right click, everything will be on slow motion and now if I hold E2, this actor's speed will be set based on the global time and it will be a slow motion inside the slow motion we made for the whole scene. That's it for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, see you next time.